Hey everybody, it's Goddess Jillian and I'm in my infrared sauna, sweating bullets, raining sweat, detoxing all the toxins that I've put into my body, out. I drink like a half a gallon of water while I'm in here with some vitamin C and some aloe and it's alkaline water and it's so purifying, detoxifying and uplifting. <laughs> Because even when we are not ingesting or inhaling toxins, we are feeding off the toxins that are so rampant in our society right now. That's one of the biggest issues we have to face as humanity. As we are ascending as a human population and our planet is ascending into 5D, there is going to be pushback from the less high vibrational entities and humans on this planet. And so that has resulted already in such disharmony and division in our populations. And it's so clear, you can see one segment of society versus the other, but they're all feeding on fear and they're all feeding on the unknown right? And so just regardless of where you stand politically or in any possible right with a virus or whatever, any of the really intense issues that we're dealing with right now, the Supreme Court, all these things, um, regardless of your stance, the more you get involved with the negativity and the low vibrational energies that are being spewed out by all these dramatic people on both sides. Now, I'm not saying that the issues aren't worth fighting for. Believe me, <laughs> that's where my heart is. But it doesn't mean that I need to feed into the darkness and the hate and the division. The people, <laughs> let me just digress for one second and there's no judgment here ever, right? But there was a research study done by Yale University uh, several years ago and about the difference in the way very conservative people think versus the way very liberal people think, right? Just at its core. Not necessarily political, but just whether you're conservative or liberal in your thoughts <laughs> and the way you live. And overwhelmingly, they ask all these questions, the more conservative group base their responses on fear of loss. Fear brings your vibration down, gives anxiety, makes you cling, makes you fight, fight or flight. It's a very, very dark energy if you're subscribing to that fear slash victim mentality. Versus on the other hand, the liberals who give everything away and really don't care as much about holding on to things because they know somewhere in there that it's all gonna work out. May not always be realistic, okay? And I believe there are so many shades of gray that are all appropriate. But when you're operating from a vibration of fear, you're not gonna get much abundance, let's just say. You're just gonna get more of the same. Okay, that being said, it is so critical right now because of what we're going through astrologically with all of these issues that we're dealing with that elicit fear from us and specifically what we allow into our mind from if you turn on any news channel it is all drama it's all hyped up for a reaction and the reaction is an adrenaline based fear reaction oh god what happens if they elect this person or that person or this person to the supreme court or whatever. Oh gosh, what might happen? Those emotional vibrations affect your energetic body, they, uh, which goes out into the universe to attract more of the same, and your physical body. And because there's so much of that, it's like we're surrounded by a sea of tar. Okay, so it is Maybe this is more for light workers because I feel like we have a sense of how to do this already and we're already doing it. But it's so important for the rest of the population to understand how critical it is to stay out of the tar, stay out of the darkness, stay out of the fear, stay out of the anger, 
stay out of the hate and rise above it. Rise above it because that's part of the ascension. And if you can do that, number one, you'll get through it a hell of a lot faster without freaking out. And number two, when you get through it, you will have already started to manifest so much abundance in your life. You will have transformed your life. I did it. I've already done it because I've been working this program for a while already. And it really got intense at the end of last year because I was like, I got to get my shite together and get off the negativity pot and immediately started manifesting everything I want in my life immediately. So I'm here to tell you, that's all you have to do. Stay out of the tar, disconnect, turn off the television, play sound frequencies instead, meditate instead, focus on exactly what you want to see in the future. And you'll be through it in five minutes. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Please subscribe and... Peace. <gasps> <laughs>